Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to survive as long as possible in the dark depth that is uh, this, uh, this world. And with the dark depth I mean 90 plus mods that we have installed and it is really not looking that great. It is month number four and a half, almost five. We've lost potentially a third of all of the missions a couple of um, casualties so far and the game is trying to let us catch up offered us a friendly supply rate well that is good because it would give us the necessary resources uh, but unfortunately it also placed a small chrysalid group containing a juvenile queen in here and uh, that in itself might actually be a problem hive royalty is the side trait and we're uh, being rated as very difficult and that's potentially true xenoform bio uh, biome type that means wilderness um, so interesting we are taking two frontliners here implacable and sonar we have that new vest which we've lately found in our last uh, mission that gives three hit points and quite a bit of armor so three armor as well uh, considering that they hopefully cannot shred armor implacable might be quote unquote our tank together with uh, sonar who does have the superior health uh, so the two of them might even be able to survive a hit um, because here's the kicker i still don't have armor upgrades we're in quite deep and we're still running around with the kevlar vests which are quite ridiculous at this point Russ and Ataxia bring a lot of healing to uh, the table and Bubble is our only chance of shredding these monsters. Potentially need another Grenadier, but a high, more high level one, uh, the low level ones at this point are becoming more and more problematic. And finally Endors, I changed the blue screen rounds for uh, some more burning rounds just so that we're not always having uh, the problems with um, melee attackers the chrysalids are mostly biological i suppose i mean i don't know any um, any exception to that but uh, we will see if there is a robot uh, within that map wish me luck as we're going up against the hive all right we just landed in the corner and there is apparently another corner right here so i assume it's a long street and whenever we do have a long street i would like to scout what we're dealing with okay Wait, what? Um, why did we have Advent here? I thought it was... I thought it was a Chrysalids... Uh, um, a Chrysalids mission. I'm all over it. Not really understanding that. Wait, what? Even more Advent, so... Okay. That's strange. I really expected that we're mainly fighting chrysalids here. Good to go. Okay, trying to check what we want to do. The problem with the house on the left hand side here seems that it is already captured by Advent. Like they are too close to it. Going there would be a trap. All right, attacks here. How about you're starting to scout this out?
Russ is the one that uh, who we need on high ground because he got death from above, which uh, allows us some form of uh, resets. He's not the most accurate one. And we couldn't give him ammunition because we needed him to uh, to have med kits. But overall, he should be the one taking like some position here. Okay, there seems to be a, a hive as a separate faction. At least that's the that's the appeal that I'm getting. So we would be up against the hive and Edwin, and that also explains why Edwin seems to have a separate occurrence here appearance here. Okay, well, so far so good. One thing that I don't know is how to uh, how many more advents we're dealing with. We know there is a pack over here, so got to be a bit careful. Putting a taxi up there. next turn we can start to engage and caref carefully afterwards move our way forward i think having just one packet at the get-go is really helpful all right not sure what just happened oh look at that Chrysalids versus Edwin. And I just saw a mech, a few soldiers, these purge guys, who are completely racking uh, the chrysalids. Damn it, and that happened here, so we're not too far. We're not too far off side when it comes to that. Tarek moves up. And that is a single pack. It's the only person that we're seeing, so might as well pull him. And bring them a little bit closer in our direction. Okay, we can't charge all the way up here because it's a bio viper and that means it will it will create quite a bit of acid we could move to here though should be fine Nice little hit. Fantastic hit to be uh, precise. And we're moving up with Russ so that he can actually see both of them. That's the kill. Next up, this guy needs to die. Hit, but he dodged. 
Let's see if this would kill him. Alright, and just because I don't like standing in the open, much less in half cover, let's do that. Um, I don't think that we need an aid protocol here. Look, I just want to be careful. We're overwatching. I have no uh, no business advancing at this point. Advent has heard about what we did, thanks to Yellow Alert. All right. Wow, he nukes for four points of damage. That's not good. Uh, what? Chrysalid Hive Queen? Blinded? Chameleon? Blinded? Okay, whatever's happening, uh, mm, uh, there is quite a bit going on. These guys seem to be fighting the Hive Queen. Okay, okay. A massive hive queen is running around. Very good. Get that wrecker. I like it. Um, okay, the Hive Queen has just frozen someone. An Infector appears out of nowhere. He's getting shot nicely into his side. Takes another shot. Oh! <laughs> Can he attack? No. Okay, cool. Okay, a couple of things here. Uh, I want to remove uh, the cover. So what we're doing is reloading and then demolition just to remove the tree. That's helpful. Uh, sonar. Reloads. Kilts gets implacable. And looks a tiny bit forward, not much, just a tiny bit. Okay, no trigger. Very good. Because we're still busy fighting these guys here. Let's kill the wrecker. That guy shreds, and I hate shredding. Well, I like shredding, but only on our troops. Everything else should be banned. There shouldn't be any shredding on other troops. Alright, that's another kill. Since we have yellow alert running... Uh, sonar gets that just in case if a pack comes from the left hand side reload overwatch having a solid position here chrysalid hive queen immune to whatever that guy was trying to do What? Heals two points of damage? <laughs> it just heals all of the damage up? Happening.
Well, may, all right, maybe I've underestimated the power of the chrysalids. I don't know. All right, whatever it is, it this is not good. Uh, I'm not good. Oh boy, what? How are we going to approach this? So, what are we going to do? Part of me just wants to charge in and teach him a lesson. Problem is, over here is the pack. We know there's a Purger pack and the Queen here. So I'm trying to play this at the absolute edge of the vision range. And what we're likely going to do is we're going to move over and try to get this guy. Oh, come on. All right, let's try that again. It seems we're hitting everything but that person. Okay, so moving up. We're giving up that left flank. I don't think there will be much coming from it. And let's give an aid protocol to Bubble. Implacable can take a hit, Bubble not so much. And we're overwatching. You know, that's not great, but I suppose he will not move anyways. Might as well take the shot. Interesting. <clears throat> of course, he does the exact opposite of what I'm saying. He hits the 36% shot. I would have much rather liked to hit the 50 or 60% uh, shot that we had beforehand, but okay, details. They are now starting to shred the queen. And starting to deal with the infector, really. I heard a, a mech here. We don't have a mech with us, so there must be another pack. He, they are going to town on <clears throat> apparently a crystal, uh, a sector. And that Perch Swat uh, really, really seems to counter the Chrysalids. Like they have fire and they do have a lot of melee reactions. Time to help the Chrysalids a little bit here. There we go. still 36 percent i guess we can't just take the shot it's not great but it's not going to get any better i mean we could no we cannot we could not cannot reach them might as well overwatch I would position myself a little bit further back, sort of here. It's only half cover, but it is a fire line towards that direction. Overwatch. 
Russ can slowly move uh, back. Overwatches as well. Okay, so far so good. And the next pack is just running into us. I feared as much. I wanted to keep them away as long as possible. At least the fire line worked out well. Not great with regards to damage that we dealt, but okay. Oh, come on. That is... Now was your chance to hit him. And we're again fighting against many, many, many enemies at the same time. I wanted to keep it as small as possible, but apparently that is not possible in this campaign. We're always having four or five enemies engaged on us. All right, does that spawn chrysalids? Because if it doesn't, the sector actually was the wrong target. Wait, what? I think there is another chameleon running around. I think we got to reposition ourselves. Endors moves over. That snake would be a one shot. Alright, let's give Endos the 8 Pro Call just in case they are pushing forward. He's currently in half cover and I need his DPS. This here could be a kill. Yeah. Huh. Stupid snake. Move to here. That heavy perch guy is annoying. I think the full cover here is better than any other spot that we could take. Could have used... Could have used uh, that... Hair trigger right there. The guy has 10 defense. Oh boy. Alright, reload in order to make this a bit more efficient. And he has dodge on top of all of the other things. Yeah, 
It takes your overwatches. Come on. Give me that crit. There we go. That's a quick kill. And we have a problem with a mutant prowler. That could be another really decent hit. 13 points of damage is in the realm of possibilities. That Perch Veteran, however, can flank us and is potentially more dangerous. Alright, never mind. Can't push forward, there is potentially another pack there. Could go all the way around to here. Just like that. And try to hit him from there. Not great, but I think I'll do that. I'm desperately trying to avoid line of sight here, which is I'm continuously juggling. Okay, that worked out well. Very close. In the meantime, it seems that the chrysalids are actually being beaten. Well, they get reinforcements, which is good, much needed. And there is a cocoon. Apparently, the queen has killed someone and is now cocooning. All right, good shit. Solid hit. That cyborg is doing a lot of work here. Wow. More chrysalids come. That's a good um, point for a break. I need to go to an, another appointment, but I'll come back in a in a bit this is incredibly tense but with the right movement we might be able to just pull this one off this is it's it's a crazy mission and i already thought the last one would be crazy but the hive mod boy boy all right give me a second and i'll be back okay so i'm back let's continue with this onslaught here So, a couple of things. I believe, Bubble, you were hit. So, we got a counter heal. Yes, please. Thank you. Fantastic. Okay, so you're telling me that he dodged the one shot that he showed in dodge. All right, fine.
time for reload and a reposition. Good. Going into half cover. Nice little hit to the mutant. Okay, we could finish him. I think Russ just reloads and tries to finish him. Good, and there is uh, the promotion. Implacable. Reloads and... What are we going to do with the mutant prowler? Okay, so they are still fighting against that massive alien beast. And there's one cyborg here. Seems to be keeping them all quite busy. The queen, however, heals two hit points per strike. So she's not really taking a lot of damage. It's an interesting ability. Kind of counters any form of uh, quick draw or pistols. But surely if she takes 5 points of damage per hit, it looks a bit different. And now she has frozen everyone and starts healing again. Well, wonderful. Good, that kind of brings us to you. I need to hit the mutant. We need to shred him. All right, come on. Nice, nice, very good. That guy is still in full cover. How can we remove that cover? Uh, for starters, Bubble needs a full cover. So we're going to give him a protocol. Gotta be careful not to move too, uh, too far towards the north. We have heard the sounds of a mech from there. So I'm fully expecting that there will be more enemies. In the meantime, let's just try to unload. Could move up, but that would be risky. Implacable. I was trying to remove the cover, but it really didn't work out well. All right, in case he charges forward. Sonar can take an overwatch here. All right, that queen seems to use the frozen ability to heal herself. And in the meantime, of course. Not even close. There are additional chrysalids. Nice. Uh, there will potentially be exactly zero supplies left over at the end of this run. We're continuing to help Bubble. 
to be the least attractive target. And then we're using Death from above to our advantage. Just getting these guys down. Alright, Bubble carefully moves forward. Still trying to follow the guy. Now, nah, cover removal would just remove the tree. I'd rather try to go for him, which was successful. Ah, that's too aggressive. And the angles are also not really good. Repositioning Enders. Right over here with a bit of a re with a bit of a reload. Okay, so the aliens are still plenty busy with uh, the queen there. And we're continuing to reinforce our position here. All right, Overwatch, Reload, Overwatch, and Overwatch. Good, so there is another pack back, uh, back here. It's nasty uh, to see that uh, the alien queen just healed. She was far more injured beforehand. Alright, everybody seems to be focusing on that cyborg now. And we're kind of barely at the vision uh, range. Okay, we do have a problem. These guys need to deal with... Um, these guys need to deal with Advent, not with us. If they are charging into us, we can't remove that many hit points. Trying to get rid of uh, the enemies right now. Zombie is burning. Moving back and reloading. All right, I'll go. Moving to designated position. Good sonar. Overwatch is here. Bubble gets the aid protocol. We gotta play that carefully. That was more than a hundred hit points, and I do not have the damage output to withstand the full alien onslaught. I'm hoping they will move on and run into other advent. Which apparently they have, which is good. My biggest problem is it's just too many hit points. There's uh with the amount of 
armor that we do have available, we can either play this chicken game here, or we evac immediately. Nice, okay, wonderful. We plant that elaborate um, overwatch trap and then at the end nothing um, nothing happened because everybody was missing. What? Chrysalid hybrid? If you don't kill them, they become a hybrid? Okay, well, it's getting more and more crazy by the minute here. Good, Babo has... Equally has a problem. Luckily, death from above is working. Good, implacable. Charges up here. Mild damage at best. Hexia reloads and kills that guy. Like I said, we're pretty short on damage. All right, shredded and prepared. Ten hit points. I think we can kill that. Uh, they do have defense, which also reduces the crit chance. Hmm. But we do have blade storm, and someone's got to take the hits. Uh, dodging on top of it, not good. So we're down to six hit points. Uh, an Overwatch could kill him. Bladestorm could kill him as well. Now it's definitely in uh, killable terrain. Alright, that guy is just moving. The hybrid charges. Oh, we're missing. Reload and that hybrid <laughs> didn't even flinch. What uh, the actual F. Alright, Russ moves up. Heavily abusing this death from above here. And we're reloading. Bubble moves over. Power numbers.
Bubble gets the 8 protocol. We don't want to lose him. I'm just trying to survive here. Couldn't even advance. Every single round, like, we issued so many shots that I continuously need to reload. What? What was that? An AOE cone shot? Alright, they're slowly but surely wiggling down the um, Chrysalid Queen, which is good. All right, Implacable begins to move. No problem, boss. Yeah, we're having a solid fire line. That's good. Getting, Getting a taxi over there. We're continuing to aid protocol bubble because we need the shredding against most of the enemies and that mutant was no exception quite the uh, contrary shotguns are great my personal problem is if we're having these open fights where i cannot advance and start to flank It tends to be a bit more problematic. Alright, we got a, a full further pack of Advent there, including a mech. And I thought we were already more or less done with the map, but there's at least two packs. Trying to move in. little chameleons all right so trying to get that high ground here should i maybe fall back and fight from up here we know the enemies are there just a matter of getting into the right position i think we need to switch over to here All right, Endor's grappling hook as far as you can. Thank you. Quick rotation. And I made up my mind. We definitely want to fight from up here. Very nice. Uh, it's good to see that they are already wasting their micro rockets because that means we don't need to deal with that shit. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the chrysalid learns why, uh, why everybody hates stun lances. The captain is a problem. And the queen seems to be still living for whatever, uh, for what it's worth. Yep, more chrysalids. Good, Ataxia moves over. Good, we're taking that new high ground and I'm hoping to effectively flank and backstep Advent whilst they are busy with uh, the chrysalids. They do have um, chrysalid poison running. Oh wow, the queen's almost dead. Down to three hit points. At least seven advent down there. <laughs> All right, the queen continues to spawn. Okay, let's see. Battle scanner would be fantastic. Dangerous, but it would be a great position. We do have uh, eight protocol if needed. And those will have a nice position over here. Russ moves up. I want de definitely want him on high ground due to the death from above uh, shenanigans that he can do. And we're not using any grenades uh, this turn. Instead overwatching just in case someone comes back, reloading with a shotgun. Okay, so we know three enemies are right here. So let's still keep on spawning. All right, very well. So we know at least three 
um, enemies are here. Let's soften them up a little bit. Sona could move up, take one shot, kill, and move back. Move back. I think that's worth it. Let's double check. Thank you. Nice. All right, uh, giving Endors uh, the necessary protection. That's a kill. Thanks to Talon rounds. Max still has micro rockets. So let's drop down here, which is out of line of sight of anyone. But it's easy access upstairs if needed. aggressive not aggressive enough sometimes there is just no middle ground uh, don't like it We got that Praetorian still working there. Good, and that's why I didn't want to cluster up because for sure the Spark would have uh, used that to their advantage. Gotta kill the captain next. I think the queen is dead, but some of the infectors and other brutes are still fighting. Careful here, Saiken. Careful. No problem, boss. It 
starting with the mech. Texia moves up. Let's start with the mech. 95% shot, unfortunately missed. Coming to the realization that we might not be able to kill it. That guy definitely needed to die. Okay. Overwatch just in case if the chrysalid begins to jump up and uh, with its three hit points there is a chance that we can actually kill it. Well that was not working as planned. Are you? Oh, wow. Oh. oh, I feel even more stupid when thinking about the 95% shot that I missed. More chrysalids are coming. Need to get away from that Praetorian there. And can we, well, we could theoretically, I suppose, become invisible here. Very good. That will help us. Good. We're slightly moving backwards. And I just need to wait until the disorientation is, uh, runs off. Might as well reload. The Praetorian is the only one who is actively fighting these things. Correction. There is still a collector assassin. All right, we got to heal up. That is so nasty. All right, attacks here. Back to full. Russ gets back to full. I 
think applicable is fine for now. We should save uh, the rest of our healing. Let's see if I can sneak a kill in. Cannot, okay. Well, not still, the position is okay. A protocol. Absolutely. Moving forward. Overwatch. Overwatch. Reload Overwatch. Can move to here, but not yet. For now, I would stay where we are. And long watch. All right, the Praetorian definitely is fighting for his life. Ooh. Okay, so. Let's begin to take solid position, high ground here. Fully pushing forward without really trying to pull anything. What? How is that possible? Why is something moving from there? Why is something moving from from the left hand side? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, All right, Atexia moves up here. We know there is a Praetorian somewhere here. Removing his cover. Damn right. And that would be a kill, but I would like to keep concealment. So instead, let's run and gun and see if Implacable can kill him. All right, your reactive nanogels have not saved you this time. All right, if there is something coming from here, we should be ready. Wow. Okay, let's take that in for a second. That's 50 enemies, and we're not talking about the loss that are running around with two hit points. We're talking about like full fledged, angry, really hardcore, tattooed um, street gangers uh, that want to beat you up. Uh, even worse, pretty much enemy military. I don't even know what the 
most scary enemy was potentially the hive queen the juvenile because it could uh, like dive bomb uh, which i assume is it's flying somewhere else else and then it could attack on top of it had the poison eight points of damage and the frozen spit uh, which uh, which it had on top of it so that in itself solo was potentially the strongest unit but also that mutant uh, mutant captain with that huge cone attack oh lord that was also quite uh, quite iffy or the other mutant hunters generally the mutants tend to be an issue like four or five armor and of course the praetorians are an issue yeah well there are just a lot of enemies that tend to be an issue can't believe that we actually managed to get out of it the advent mech now had more than two rockets it had three rockets so i approached thinking you know what it had already shot its two rockets no problemo but instead it actually was a problemo uh, kill zone is good it's in in the type of any, uh, campaign that we're playing Believe it or not, Kill Zone is actually good with a big, fat, a superior expanded magazine um, and a good sniper. Kill Zone is really good. For now, let's take face off and Russ finally got a threat assessment. This here is not representing how bad that mission actually was. Juvenile Queen. Quite a bit of Valerium supplies. A couple of corpses. Bio Viper corpse. Oh, we got one trooper. Nice. One Praetorian corpse and 43 alloys. Oh, that was a harsh mission. Good, 14 more days until the armor upgrade. Hello, Commander. View inventory. And we have 13 trooper corpses. So here is a question for you guys. Would we now go for Predator Armor and push 300 supplies and 60 alien alloys into it? Or are we saving up uh, the money? Well, it doesn't matter because we don't even have 300 supplies. So what are you talking about, Saiken? Good, we need to save some money. I think we wanted to get the supplies. So that was quite literally our idea. The alien alloys aren't bad either, but 129 seems quite solid. Good, time to do that. Quinton Wilson. Oh, never mind. End of the month. Oh, we got a good score for the month. And we'll get an, a sabotage. And slowly but surely, I need to think about how we are... How we're going to fight against him. That is irrelevant. I would love to counter that. And I have no idea what hidden event uh, lurks behind that. Again, nothing that we can really take. Do we need additional ammunition? Or a little bit more money? Let's get a little bit more money because we want to upgrade the armor. Yay, nice. Well, every little bit counts. 
Every little bit counts. So with those supplies, we should be on a good way. I just need 12 more days. Bond has been upgraded. That's good. Uh, no further bond that we can upgrade, but I would like to see if we can give someone an ability. Endors has run and gun, which is a great ability. It's actually quite good with a normal sniper, but um, I think we're going for kill zone. Death from above would not be bad either, because in some of the cases we're just shooting, and I could use that extra shot either to reload, but... Kill zone, I can see that working out well with just so many enemies. Alright, 11. What are we going to do here? Serial is fantastic, but not really what we need at the moment. I mean, concealment is good, but I'd rather wait for Captain and then get Implacable and Bladestorm at the same time. That isn't too bad. That is actually not too bad. Last padding for a little bit of extra armor. Good skill for every single uh, soldier in this campaign. Good. 12 more days until we're finally getting our armor. Nice. Good. So let's see what would make sense. Getting closer to a stronghold certainly would make sense. Reduce avatar project and get plus one health. That makes sense as well. I would love to get a reaper. And we'll get a promotion on top of it. I think that's almost uh, the best here. Dilly G. Snipers have a difficult time getting promoted, so... If he and Shinrod together can go in, the ambush isn't so scary. Good. Um, nine days and we would get a Reaper, which I think is great. The facility lead is another good option, but as it stands, our avatar project uh, works surprisingly well. So it's potentially Reaper into project into Hunter. Yeah, that makes sense. Strategic resource located. Okay, got almost a hundred supplies. I like it. Not a lot of intel, but we could get into later. Matter of fact, I can gain intel now and start making contact next. That's a good course of action. We have reduced contact costs for Europe, so that is only 40 intel to go there. Nice. Look at that. We got our spark. Just 
already building the school jig. So what can I do for you, Commander? Weapons Advanced Grenade Launcher and the gun, which together would be almost as much as we have for our armor upgrade. Are we going to be greedy? And potentially regret it. I mean, there's no like immediate, immediate, immediate need to do that right now. The helix cannon is nice, but so is a proper armor. And we also need that reinforced frame in order to make the mech work well. Nice one. Okay, so this is going to be Primo's first mech. And let's give it a bit more of a mean look. Something along the lines of the Terminator. Yep, dark exoskeleton with glowing red eyes. Okay, we could theoretically uh, put an autoloader in there. Not the worst idea. What I like about them is they do have a built-in shredder. They come with uh, sufficient health. But we definitely need to give them some more armor. For now, let's leave them where they are. We don't have the funds to fully build them up. I don't want to commit to that yet. And we got another negative trait removed. Continuing that negative trait removal. Okay, so far we're good. Good wounded soldiers require more time to heal. That is not a problem. Almost at 40 intel. And there are our new missions. Intel suggests the collectors are operating. I have no idea what the collector who or what the collectors are. But I would be suggesting that's potentially Advent. Getting a scientist and countering the nasty dark events. So that is what we will likely do. Bandits and dark elders. Uh oh. Uh, we don't need an engineer, although the hidden event. Yeah, we're potentially going to do that. My main question is, are we being greedy or not? Powered armor takes less than a day shortly fly to the uh to the black market. market is open. Did that already trigger the research? No, not yet. Selling a few cannibal corpses. And a few mutant corpses, which would bring us just north of the 400. That is technically enough. Um, we have enough Valerium and Alloys, so that's technically enough for, for armor upgrades. Um, I'll do a little trick here. We know it was one day. I'm 
going to fly one more and one more back and if that isn't solving it then then I have no answer. Because a little bit of time passes when we're flying from A to B. We're now at zero days for a hero's welcome, which means any second we would um, be getting uh, the Reaper. But there's no telling uh, when we're getting uh, the research. Good. Who wants plus one health? I mean, that's not really a question. Everybody wants plus one health, right? Lily Chi, by the way, got the promotion. Is now a major. Fantastic. Love it. Who wants plus one health? Hogbite, we're stacking... Uh, we're stacking dodge, but we could also put him on there for the plus one health. And someone needs to move together with him through that. You know, sounds strange, but why wouldn't it be an appropriate Murphy? Inappropriate Murphy and Hogbite? The guy who sa single-handedly saved the world and the guy who single-handedly uh, was responsible for all 312 complaints and the installation of a suggestion box directly to the commander and a workers' council. So technically both of them could make a good team and matter of fact, yeah, for a nano med kit, that's good. I'm okay with it. So let's confirm that action. And um, welcome our new soldiers. Fantastic. We lost the Reaper and got a Captain Reaper back. That is good. Captain Reaper has Shredder, which I appreciate. Killzone will not be that helpful. But Remote Start will be fantastic. Shrapnel is great. Silent Killer. Where is my good old Silent Killer? Right there. That's important. Shredder is quite important. Twenty six. I mean, we could go all the way to bypassing armor, or we're increasing the crit chance. Both is not bad. That will help uh, with executions. So I would say yes, please. And the extra armor piercing, I would do that over Shredder. I will get Shredder on top of it, but that will help to deal true damage. Because we need to be able to, do, uh, to basically deal the last hit against an enemy. Uh, fantastic. I like it. I like what I'm seeing. I also wanted to give you superior mobility. Unfortunately, no great weapon mods yet, but Shadow is with us and I couldn't be more excited. All right, Dilly G. Um, going for steady hands for a sniper situation.
And just double checking, the Liji has covering fire. That's not bad. That is not bad at all, together with kill zone specifically. I would rather go death from above though. But I want to save some more points. Okay. Well, we're getting a deeper roster, but the high ranks are still not really coming easy. Bond level 3. Sounds like a plan. Russ plus Slicinator. Never had a bond level 3 on captain and sergeant rank, just to kind of put that into perspective. Um, but yeah, slowly but surely we're, we're getting those bonds up. Unfortunately, a couple of bond mates have already died. Inappropriate Murphy, for instance, has uh, lost Barbie and is now trying to bond together with Inquisitor, but that's not going to happen. All right, cool. That is the end of today's episode. One last check. I was hoping powered armor would come through. But it's potentially not. Anyways, um, that's the end of today's episode. If you wish you had some powered armor, then click that like button. And maybe your scientist will deliver results faster than mine. In any case, see you in two days, guys. And uh, hope you enjoy that slugfest of a run. Take care. Bye-bye.